Hey guys, my name's Matt Higby, and I'm the creative director on Planetside 2. Today we're taking a look at some of the factions and talking a little bit about what these factions are all about. First up, we have the Terran Republic. The Terran Republic are what I would call the most professional military of the three factions. These guys are well-drilled, well-equipped, and basically the most well-oiled military machine on the battlefield of Araxis. In terms of weaponry, the Terran Republic rely on pretty conventional weapons. Lots of bullets, lots of high explosives, but they don't use anything too experimental. For vehicles, the Terran Republic is all about speed. They want to basically get the fastest possible vehicles. The Terran Republic also believe in strength in numbers. A lot of their vehicles and a lot of their weapon systems require more players to operate them. But in general, they're just as effective as a one-on-one -on -one soldier as any of the other factions would be. The second of the three factions we're going to talk about are the New Conglomerate. Now the New Conglomerate are sort of the insurgent rebel faction in Planetside 2. These guys basically use whatever they can get their hands on, from old mining equipment to experimental weaponry, and they really aren't going to say no to anything that works. You can see here that in a lot of cases they're using stuff that's either plundered from or gathered from their corporate sponsors. A lot of their weapons, armor, and vehicles may look really utilitarian, but don't let that fool you. They still pack a mean punch. For the most part, the NC weapons and vehicles are built around hitting hard and lasting long in fights. So they can take the most damage and dish out the most damage, although they might not be the most maneuverable or the fastest on the battlefield. The third and final faction are the Vanu Sovereignty. Now these guys have unlocked some secrets hidden away in ancient alien ruins all over Araxis. They've used a lot of this technology to help augment their weapons of war. The main goal of the Vanu Sovereignty is to attempt to unlock more secrets from these ancient artifacts, and they consider anything that's getting in their way to be a threat. So while the battle between the NC and the TR is sort of more of an annoyance to them, they still feel the need to compete on the battlefields just to make sure that they can get access to all the technology that's hidden all over the planet. The Vanu Sovereignty have the most advanced technology on the battlefields of Araxis. They use things like plasma warheads and lasers to get the job done. They also have magnetic propulsion systems in their vehicles, which allow them to be maneuverable in ways that conventional vehicles just can't match. The whole Planetside 2 team is really thrilled with how we're progressing so far, and we can't wait to show you guys more. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook so you can keep up to date with the latest and greatest news. Sony.